Hi guys, I am back and this is going to be a tutorial on a shaker card that I made a couple videos back. So let me show you. This is going to go out to Peggy Strong because she wanted to know how I did this. So first of all, I find me an image. This one came out of a calendar and I'm going to show you what calendar and let you know where I picked it up. So I picked got that image from this calendar and I picked this up at the Dollar Tree and I am using that image right there. So I printed it out so I could um, have a copy. So I printed it out on my printer and um, <clears throat> I went back and I added a little bit more color to the birds so they can pop out a little bit. So and um, and then I cut my piece. And I cut my piece depending on my size, my size of my um, packaging. This is a packaging. I think I probably got cards in here, like like um, journaling cards in this thing. So, so I say I want that, but but when I cut my image out, I make sure I leave me enough space on each side and on the bottom because eventually I will be putting it on some cardstock. And this cardstock that I got. I got out of um, this blush collection. I want to see who it's from. I did pick it up at Michael's, so I guess it's Craftsmart, the brand. Yeah, so I picked it up at Michael's, and that is going to be my base. And um, I also used a Six Six die. The ornament one that I had showed in the last video when I actually showed the card so and here they are and I used some um, cardstock which I cut out two pieces because I need it strong and sturdy and this is going to be the top layer so and that is from a cardstock I picked up at Hobby Lobby by the paper studios glam glitter okay guys <clears throat> got a little itch in my throat but let's get this done so, I, I'm not one for measuring. I kind of just put it on my cutting board and figure where I want to go from there. So, like I said, this is a piece of um, packaging. There's a piece of paper stuck on there. All right. And I'm going to cut this piece off that's got the little hole there. And I need some... I only cut about... I leave about maybe, I want to say about a quarter of an inch maybe. Just so I have some... Um, some room to glue this on my paper and I will be using hot glue and um, that glue from the Dollar Tree and those little tiny tubes are really good to use and I also use this one here and this I picked up at um, Beverly's and it's $1.99 okay so now I can do this two ways I left the edges or I can cut them off this packaging but I'm going to slide it in here like that so I could actually glue it now to my um, my base now if you guys want this bigger you can make it bigger so it covers your base or you can glue it like this and then embellish it now see my birds are popping out so I didn't do this right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over that lip so now my birds are in that frame now before I glue this on there I am going to um, put some sequence glue sequence on there and stuff but like I said if you guys want this to cover your base just bring it to your edge and when you're finished you're gonna decorate this so you might not want to cut it so after you decorate it then you can um, you'll probably end up keeping it but there you go so that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna bring this low like that so that's what I will nor normally do, but like I said, before I start gluing it and it's sealed, I gotta put stuff in here. And so, let's now that you guys kind of get the idea how I do that, I'm gonna glue this real quick. And I have a dictionary, a big fat dictionary here, because when I glue this, I'm gonna need to smash it down so it stays in place. And um, this is not going to come out very quickly. 
I should grab one of my other glues because it's going to come out a little faster. So let me just switch glues here. I'm going to go ahead and use glossy accents. Gosh, I, all my glues are plugged, you guys. I haven't been crafting, so everything plugs up on me. You know, I haven't been crafting. I did have Thanksgiving on Thursday, and then I had Thanksgiving yesterday for um, me and my kids. On Thursday, I actually went to my mom's, so. Come on, glue. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to glue this. And I don't put very much on there because when I'm going to lay the, the layer, I'll just kind of smush it around so the glue can get everywhere. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm going to scream if this glue don't start coming out, you guys. Ever do that when you're crafting? And you run into issues when you're trying to get something done? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to try to do this quick. So my video is not too long. Now I'm not going to worry about all this stuff. I'm kind of like, okay, so there's that. Now I chose brown so it can blend in and I don't have to like cover the sides because it's just easier that way if you can do less. So there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it here in my, my book. Let it lay flat and I already did one. I already did one. So around here somewhere unless I left it in the book ah, ah. No, I know I took it out so it's around here somewhere so, okay so let's get this with some sequins or decorate it so I know I'm gonna have my birds in there and you know sometimes I usually mark it like I said for me less work the better and I don't happen to have my pencil over there. And I usually have pencils all over, you know. So when I work in a station, there's a pencil. Oh, okay. Found one. Found one, but it's not sharpened. Go figure, huh? So I'm going to sharpen it real quick. Excuse the noise. <laughs> Okay, so I like to mark where I have to glue, I mean, where my picture is going to be, so that way I know. So it's right about there, and it's going to be right about there, so I can keep all my elements. Th though I do know I have about maybe, what, quarter of an inch to mess with. So, now what I'm going to do is start getting my elements, and um gluing them in there. Look, there's that other piece. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to add a little here and there. That one went, that one went flying. And I got to remember, I got to keep it within that line. And I'm going to be messing with gold. So, and I'll probably have to hot glue those 
so they stay in place. So when the card You guys, where did my pearl go? Did you see it? Did you see it? Well, there. So there that goes. Now, I've been thinking about this acetate here. How I'm going to put my sequence in there. Now I could either put it like that and then go ahead and put what sequence I want to put in there. So I think I'll do it like that. So I'm going to add some gold because gold is pretty. And I'm going to add some of this snowflake looking stuff. Oh, and you know what, to you guys? I picked up some cool little. Um, Foam gold, um, little pellet kind of things. That, um, got them half off at um, Hobby Lobby, so maybe I should add some of those in there. Aren't those pretty? Mm, I don't know if I want to go with some silver. Yeah, why not? Let's see how that looks. Alright, I'm going to stick with that. I just hope they're not higher than the packaging. Just make sure it's not higher, in, higher than the packaging. Now see, this is the hard part. I went that way, so now I don't know where I'm going to put this at. Okay, we'll do it like that. All right. All right. We're just going to go all the way. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, so this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. So, because I don't like to measure and I like to do things quick, I run into some problems. So, now I have to fix these problems. that including that sequence so dang it dang it
Now, if I wanted to add something else, like, yeah, all right, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, I could cut that lip out so I don't have sequins. I could have did that with all the edges, but I was being lazy, you guys. I can be a lazy crafter. Yep. So I can still do that. So I'm going to turn that up. I don't think it matters if you get ginger paper because you're going to put it on a thicker cardstock. Yeah, that's good. Alright. So if you want to add anything else, you guys, remember you want to decorate it before you your sequins in there. So there it is, you guys. Everything else is pretty easy. It's all again downhill from here. So Yes, that looks sloppy, but it's okay because you're going to decorate it. Now, I'm going to put mine right in the center so I have plenty of room to decorate it. Now, I can use my hot glue, which is probably better to use. And if you guys' room is um, cold and you've got a low temp glue gun, it's probably better to do it. I'll give myself some room up here to decorate. So I'm going to go like right there. Actually, I should have went a little higher because I, I'm not going to decorate that because that's where these are going to come in like that. Oh well. I could either peel it off or leave it like that. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. So now, I'm just going to hot glue the rest of this. And then when you're finished decorating, you can just go back and snip that off. So that's it, you guys. You get your um, ornaments. The ornaments that you cut out and layered already. Let me grab the one that's in the book. So you're going to go like this. 
to make the top of your bird cage. So there you go, you're gonna go like that. Make sure your holes are punched out nice. Now you don't have to use a Christmas one that I have, the Christmas ornament. There's other ornaments you can do, but um, this just, it goes perfect because it looks like a cage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue that edge right there and that circle. And again, I'm going to just use a little bit of glue So I know I want to use that much, so Okay, you guys, and then the thing, and the rest is just all your imagination. So, you know, so there you go. Then you just start decorating the way you want. I got some gold lace that I might put here. I got some some trim. So, yep, there you go. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.